Are the Republicans getting woke? Is it get woke, go broke time for the Republican Party making history for women in this country? Feminism on full display for the Republican Party here. So I saw this news pop up yesterday. I didn't get a chance to make a video about it, so I'm putting it out today. Uh, but I'm a little bit curious how the MAGA people feel about this, how the how the Trump party people feel about this. Uh, Nikki Haley beats Trump to become the first woman to win a Republican primary. Again, making history for women in the Republican party. It's that diversity that we love to see. Uh, I'm actually shocked at this, to be quite fair. Um, all I ever see in my comments when I talk about anything political is MAGA 2024, Trump this, Trump that, or whatever. But it's quite clear here that there are some people who do not want to see that again. And we're talking about people closest to the fire, the people in Washington, D.C. that have to deal with Trump at a different level than the rest of us. The people there are like, no, we reject it. She ended up with like 63% of the vote. Trump got 33%. That means she got the 19 delegates. Look, this is me sort of just making fun of the situation because it's quite clear to me, regardless of what happens here, that Trump is going to be the nominee for the Republican Party. I think he's got like 122 delegates at this point. So, yeah, there's there's no shot in Nikki Haley actually taking Trump's spot on that campaign trail. But this is historic. Um, I think there's been maybe two other women that have ran uh, for Republicans. I have to go back and look, but I think it was like two um, but she's the only one that's ever won a primary making history for the women. So I thought this was quite interesting. Uh, I don't really know what this means though, in the, in the long term. like, does this mean there are going to be people who voted for Nikki that are now not going to vote for Trump? If he is the person that takes that nomination, I'm saying that sort of knowing that he will be, so are they not going to vote for him? They're going to vote for someone else. Are they going to write in Nikki Haley's name? Uh, I don't know if it's enough to even make a massive difference in the way the voting would sway for Trump, but every vote really counts right now because we have a lot of controversy around both Biden and Trump. Uh, but Trump is starting, like, this is a slip. This is a slip in that solidarity that I expect to see from conservatives because they're willing to pat each other on the back no matter what it seems like. So it's quite interesting to me that Nikki secured Washington, D.C., uh, <laughs> women doing stuff, girl boss stuff on the forefront. Uh, what are we going to do? What is, what are the conservatives going to do about this? What are the MAGA people going to say about this? I don't know if you are a MAGA person who happens to be watching my channel. I know a lot of you do. You like on the sneak, you watch my channel. Um, what are your thoughts on this? I am curious. And for everybody like myself, who obviously is not going to vote, uh, for either of these people, um, for president, if you're in that camp, then uh, what do you think? It's kind of funny to me, like from the outside looking in. I want to watch a clip before I go. Um, this is a clip I found on Twitter that shows the absolute and utter brain rot that is conservative people in 2024. These are the people that are going to be going out and voting. And we watch this clip. I have to warn you, it is going to, it's going to blow your mind. It blew my mind, but it's going to blow your mind. Maybe not. Maybe you've seen it already. Let's watch the clip. Okay, Trump 24 or before. Uh, what does that mean to you? He's already president. He's already president. He's our president. Meaning Donald Trump is, is president now? He's president now. I believe he is. How would that work? Because Joe Biden has been been the president, Obama right? He's the... been the president. Mm. Obama said that he, was gonna, he would like to run a third term okay. if he could sit in his basement and call the shots. And that's exactly what he's doing. But you just said that it's Obama's third term, but also that he's Trump calling, is president. He's calling the shots at all this mess that's going on right now and all the disasters that he's caused. Yeah. But how is Obama calling the shots if Trump is still president? <laughs> Obama is sitting back and telling Obama, telling Biden what, what he, sh what, what to do. What is Biden if he's not what? the president? He's a bumbling fool right now. But why would it matter if Obama was telling Biden what to do if Biden's not president? Say that again. Why would it matter if, if Obama was telling Biden what to do if Biden wasn't president? Mm. Crickets. Absolute crickets. Because there is no answer. 
There's no answer to that question for these people. Um, they truly don't know what they're talking about. Uh, this, these are people that are voting Republican right now are people that clearly, clearly are suffering from massive brain rot. So we have the Nikki Haley stuff going on in D.C. We have brain rot just spreading throughout this entire country. Uh, it's going to be a shit show here in 2024. And the rest of the world is looking at us and laughing away. And all these people walking around with like these, you know, Trump merch on uh, MAGA 2024. I mean, it's just clown apparel. It's just clown apparel at this point. And uh, anytime I see it, it just makes me laugh. Like I, I laugh because it's funny. And I also laugh because of the state of our country and knowing that we're right on the edge of a cliff and it's you guys that just want to push us over. Eric here. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting subscribe, engaging with the like system and leaving a comment down below. Every single number helps with a smaller channel like myself to increase my outreach to everyone here on YouTube and outside of this platform. Also, if you'd like to support the channel and help keep the lights on in here, you can become a member of the channel, which helps me again as a small channel uh, navigate the system where YouTube doesn't like to promote this kind of content. So if you want to be a part of the change, and be a part of the community and interact with me and other people that feel the same way as we do, please consider subscribing and supporting the channel. I thank you guys so much and we'll see you in the next video.